did this. That's mm. why people don't realize they pick their color based on the way they feel no, about themselves. Such as life. Great man. date question. Okay, yeah. my, well, my favorite color is aqua. <laughs> aqua? I don't know aqua. But, but uh, the the aqua blue. teal because it's a uh, Miami Dolphins color. So. I see. I love so that. I see that right now. I've yeah. just simplified well, my, my intelligence <laughs> level right there. No, blue is a kind. I mean, that tells me yeah. calming, which fits you. But I don't. That's such a specific. Color, I, I haven't, I, I don't know. I mean, most people will pick red, black. I mean, black is a big one. Run, if she says black, run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, there are certain colors you just don't, you just yeah. don't, I, to me anyway, you just don't be like, thank you. Yep. The other great <laughs> question is to ask a girl, are you single? Yes, I am. Then ask her what her pet peeves are. Okay. And she'll tell you <laughs> all the issues thinking. she's never dealt with. <laughs> That it's the, literally the greatest date question ever. They go, I hate this, I hate this, and then oh, you'll sit there and literally things. watch I her hate do all men. Of them. Um, <laughs> like, I hate people. I hate people who chew their mouth open flat. Foods flying yeah, everywhere. Yeah, like yeah. they, our judgments. When you ever ask someone what their judgments are, all they're telling you about the parts of themselves they oh. haven't reconciled. Right. And so it's a great window into. They're just opening up and kind yeah, of. But they think their it's them. A little bit. No, yeah, yeah exactly. They don't know it's. That's a good one. So, so. Reverse psychology. Yeah. Oh, well, I think I'm going to try that on my wife's side. <laughs> be, uh, what are your pet peeves? She'll be like, you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we're not resolved. <laughs> <laughs> like he. Now back to It's Business Time with Mike Weinstein, Arizona's resource hub for startups to medium-sized businesses. You can join the movement online at itsbusinesstime.com. That's itsbusinesstime.com. Now, here's your host, Mike Weinstein, hashtag Duke of Eats. All right, our uh, next uh, guest uh, comes to us from uh, one of the greatest organizations here in Phoenix for small business. It's called Alliances. So I'd like to give a huge shout out and thanks to Alliances and David Kogan for uh, bringing to us our good friend, Kenny Weiss, the author of your journey to success as well as being an author he's also a coach public speaker and uh and in charge of the greatness movement i, I don't know the term the originator of the greatness movement what would we say founder founder yeah, founded. okay yeah. so let's start with that what is uh thanks for being here kenny sure what is the greatness movement it's really the ultimate self-awareness process when i was coming out of my suicide stuff i'd done personal work for years and I realized there was a gap in the industry and I wrote down, I want to come up with a process nobody else has discovered that will fundamentally change society. So the deeper goal of the greatness movement is one, give people the skills and tools that go deeper than, like I love Tony Robbins, all of them, I've learned from all of them. I take it a step further, things they haven't talked about. That was the first thing. And the second goal of the greatness movement is to break down the societal barrier. We were talking about it in break here of, we have a societal bias against talking about, learning about, sharing, or becoming an expert in our brokenness. And we've all struggled with something, yet there's a big judgment if we deal with it. Well, imagine the world if our instinct was the exact opposite. I, I'd be skinny. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we were in studio with Kenny Weiss, the author of Your Journey to Success and the founder of the Greatness Movement. If you'd like some more information, go ahead and text the word GREAT to 411-923. That's GREAT to 411-923. All right, Kenny, you're an author, you're a speaker, uh, you do a lot of different things. Uh, this is obviously a business show, so give us in a nutshell of what do you do, how do you help us as business owners, what do you do for businesses? Or what the heck do you do? Yeah, there's <laughs> there's a lot of things. Um, you know, there's a law office I work with. They bring me in monthly. I work with both the partners and then the whole team. Well, think of a law office, all that conflict, you know, with mm -hmm. clients. Well, how are you going to handle all that emotion? None of us are taught how to deal with it. And so, like, I'll sit there and read emails, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. You don't bite on this part. Respond this way. Like, so conflict resolution, things like that. Because what people don't realize in business is, Almost everything we do is emotion-based, not thought-based. And if you ever watched the show, The Prophet, Marcus Lemonis, great business guru, his whole process is people, process, people, product, and process. In the first nine minutes of the show, he fixes the, the product and he fixes the process. The next 50 minutes of the show, he's dealing with the people and their struggles. That's my skill set. So that's where businesses will bring me in, whether it's employee conflict, whether it's with their clients, sales,
because there's a way to listen that sales techniques don't teach you to really hear what people are saying. So there's many areas that where I help um, uh, businesses take it to the next level because think of it, most business, I love business coaching, but at some point somebody who hires a business coach and it happens every time. You gotta get to the root of the problem. Like, like They don't wanna do it. Like call reluctance, go make 50 calls. Yeah. And, and, and you have to get to the root of why this person doesn't want to make 50 calls. What's the barrier? What's holding them back? And I, and I think of, especially for our employees, salespeople, it doesn't matter who works for us. If we, can, if we can figure out what the problem is, we can figure out what's holding them back, now they can go and, and be yeah. fruitful. And that's emotions. That's stuff they've been through. And in the business environment, we're kind of told, don't go there. We want to talk about anything but that. Well, that's the solution. That's the gap in the business world. I mean, not every business I've been into, they've had coaches, they have everybody, sales training, everything. It's always that stuff. All right, go ahead and text the word great to 411-923. I want to put you in touch with Kenny Weiss, the author of Your Journey to Success, also founder of The Greatness Movement. Uh, even if you're just in sales or you're just a person trying to really, uh, you know, it's not just for businesses. You, I mean, we got couples, we got people to try to improve their marriages, trying to improve their relationships with their kids. If you'd like some more information on how to reach Kenny, please go ahead and text the word great to 411-923. That's great to 411-923. Tell us about the book, Your Journey to Success. Yeah, it's really, it's my life was a train wreck. We don't teach this stuff. So I went through addictions, divorces, bankruptcy, played two pro sports I never wanted to play. And, and you were you were uh, in, in an abusive yeah, relationship as yeah. well, but you weren't, you were not the abuser. No, I, yeah. yeah, my first wife was physically and verbally abusive. So I, like I said, I've been to counseling, I'd been to all the seminars, read all the books and I learned a lot and, and it, it started me. Um, but that's why I was suicidal is I, there were pieces missing and I spent three days holed up in my apartment trying to write my kids a suicide note. I could talk about the pain, but trying to justify it, I knew too much psychology. And and I'm like, that's transference. Like I couldn't get my way out of it. So that's when I wrote down that declaration. And over that next year, year and a half, I started looking at things from a completely different angle. And I found, you brought up the fear. I found things about how fear works. There isn't a, I've never heard any counselor, therapist, coach, anybody ever described the process of fear and how to overcome it like I have. Their belief, all these different topics that I found some things, literally, I haven't seen anybody else ever talk about. And so the groups that I run, whether they're online or in person or work with people individually, the growth and the ability to see exactly what's going on, what's keeping them from their success, I've been, I've had a lot of success helping them find that. All right. I want to put you in touch with Kenny Weiss, the author of Your Journey to Success and founder of the Greatness Movement. Go ahead and text the word GREAT to 411-923. That's GREAT to 411-923. Now, we covered, you know, a lot of different areas in the sense of business owners to employees to, to helping people with relationships. Who, who should be reaching out to you? What level of services do you provide? And take us a little bit through that process. Yeah. Well, there, there are many things I do. I have the podcast, The Greatness Movement, which is every Sunday night, seven o'clock live on Facebook or YouTube or any of the normal audio channels. I run the groups, uh, Greatness Groups, which are based on the concepts in my book, which you can get online. You can do an online version or you can do them locally here in Phoenix. I also work with clients individually, um, whether that's things like stress reduction, fear, anxiety, um, addiction, trauma recovery, uh, relationships, also child parent stuff, more teenager than, than youth. So there's many areas of, you know, I've been studying for 30 some years trying to figure out all this stuff. And so I have a wide base of expertise of really what's keeping us. To me, greatness is different than success. And, and I'm after greatness, not success is an outward process. It's an accumulation of status or things. Greatness is the ability to go right out all of those broken pieces and overcome them. That's when you walk in the well, essence it, of who you well, are. Well, it comes down to what do you want people to say about you when you leave the earth? Um, what do you, you want know, to say about yourself, too? Well, I'll be dead, so I won't be saying anything. <laughs> in uh, but, that moment. But, yeah, but yeah. but uh, is it, do you want people to go, he was wealthy or he was a generally great human being and, and did yeah. great things for people? And greatness you have whether the money or the things are there or not. 
That's the difference. Success mm, is all predicated. Success is all predicated on whether I get the corner office, the trophy wife or husband. It's, it's all outward. Greatness is I have that regardless if I have those exterior things. Well, my wife got the trophy husband, so you're welcome. <laughs> uh, go ahead and text the word great to 411-923. That's great to 411-923. I want to put you in touch with uh, Kenny Weiss. I want to divert here sure. uh, just only because it's on my mind. Um, so I, I had a, a meeting earlier this week with a CEO of a local chamber and one of the issues um, this specific city is um, is <coughs> focusing on or facing is is teenage suicide. Yeah. What's going on? How do we, I mean, yeah, this how is do we a, fix? God, I mean, I've, I've, been, I've uh, been one to talk about this for a long time. Um, really what this is is, let's face it, not a single one of us, this, this isn't gonna be a pleasant answer. Not a single one of us takes a single class on how to be a parent, how to have relationships, how to deal with our emotions. More often than not, when it comes to suicide, it's parental dysfunction. It's, a pro it's not the right dysregulation of emotions that gets transferred into the kids. The kids are overwhelmed with it. Because what they're saying to me, a lot of it has to do with our kids are learning how to uh, deal with problems. And, and it's part of it, but I, I, it's got to be deeper than that. It is. How Do we teach anything about emotional regulation? Like I said, it's the whole movement. That's the whole point of the greatness movement. They're just lacking the skills and tools. What, did, what saved my life when I was suicidal? I knew too much about psychology and emotions. I knew I was transferring all this. I couldn't do it. I couldn't think myself. I couldn't justify it. Denial couldn't take over. These kids, we don't teach them any of that. They don't have that barrier. Well, I unfortunately, we don't have all that. I can sit here all afternoon can, yeah. and, and talk with you. Uh, but I want to uh, put you in touch with Kenny Weiss, the author of Your Journey to Success and the founder of The Greatness Movie. Movie. It will be a movie one day, but The Greatness Movement. Go ahead and text the word GREAT to 411-923. Again, text the word GREAT to 411-923. On this Memorial Day weekend, please don't drink and drive. Solid. That could go on, man. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, the God.